know which kind of application so far you develop like that yeah um coming coming to myself this is ponchandra i have total of 5.5 years of experience as a web developer and uh, yeah. i have the skills uh, uh, html css javascript jquery bootstrap angular and react uh, this are my skill set and my relevant experience in react is uh, around 3.3.6 and angular skills and uh, uh, coming to the, my previous client is cvsl and previous companies helicon technologies Mm, coming to my previous project, this is CVS Health. This is a health domain project. Um, this is like a product where any hospital can manage this product, like uh, doctors' information, cl- patients, drugs, uh, patients, previous history, prescriptions, all all types of some modules which are included in the product. This is a health domain project. And coming to roles and responsibility in this project, I am the one of the UI developer. Uh, like um, uh, as per the coding part, I need to create the components, API integrations, modules. So you change all those things, and uh, as for delivery part, uh, we are following the agile methodology. The uh, need to pass for grooming sessions, sprints, and uh, and also we are using the GitHub part systems, and uh, and also uh, apart from the coding part, I need to give support some some junior developers. And uh, this is my roles and responsibility. Now uh, this is a little brief about me. Okay. And what is the most recent version, Pune uh, Chandra? You are working on React seventeen. I used and uh, yeah. ंगलर राइट Did you explore any uh, lazy loading concept? We have the lazy loading concept in our Angular, right? Did you yes, use that uh, feature? Yes, yes. So, you know, oh, coming, coming to the lazy loading, so for example, uh, in our application, some unnecessary modules are impo- uh, importing, and if I if I were loading any company, any page, uh, so some unnecessary modules are also loaded. To avoid the yeah. loading, and if you want to load particular modules whenever you want, then we use the lazy loading concept. So we need to import the particular modules whenever we want. For that one, we uh, we are in the in the routes in the routes in the app routes in those module for the for navigation for particular route. We give the uh, the imports lazy lazy loading of imports uh, these modules. So in this way, we can configure the lazy loading process. Yeah. Okay. And Punchandra, how exactly you integrate the REST API uh, in your application, right? Yeah. So how exactly you integrate the REST API? So yeah. So back end developer gives some API. So before integrating API, we need to test the uh, the API. So that's why I use uh, sometimes uh, mostly I use Postman or sometimes I use Swagger. So I will yeah. check the the what is the payload I need to pass, what is the URL, what is the meta the request per get that post or what how the response is getting. I will check all those things. Once everything is okay, then I need to start in the case. For that one, I create the service. So our uh, service for and we use the HTTP observables, HTTP HTTP modules. So uh, using the HTTP module, uh, we have the methods the based on the request method we use the get get that push and we give the URL and uh, put and we give the payload data as input as second argument. Then it returns the observable. So uh, so once we run the so in the service in a particular method, I write the for example I want to get some users list. Then I create the method get users in the user service file. And use the HTTP that get and URL and come and second one will pass the header any header say any payload I need to pass then I will get the observable that observable and will subscribe in any component when so I, by inject the service file I'm calling that method then from that observable I can I can subscribe the data so in this way I will integrate the in the Angular. Yeah. And Punjabi, uh, when you are dealing this REST API integration, right? Um, how exactly are choosing the observable or promises? Uh, we can use the promises and observables, right, for um yes. integrating the REST API. Yeah. Yeah. Which scenario you are going with the observable and which scenario you are going with the promises? So, um, for example, it's only single single streaming of the data. Then you use the promise and observables. Uh, and if you want to use any callback methods, then that you can use the observables. So there is no call request, then use the promise and we get the response. So only uh, so one single stream of data, then I use the promise. If you want to use any callback methods, and if it is like it's like a streaming of data, then I use the observables. Okay.
and punishan um as a process we will ask some kind of coding questions right are you able to write few lines of code in any alternator yeah okay yeah share your screen uh, meantime i will prepare some mock json i will share with you okay uh, if you are comfortable you can open any stack based link right we can write angular code yeah otherwise you can go with the javascript also pure javascript which is comfortable okay. for you you know uh, i mean uh, angular or javascript anything is okay which is your uh, preferred rule right yeah Yeah, I am sharing some uh, JSON data. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I am sharing some small uh, task description like that. You can go through these points, then yeah, we can discuss. So you are passing the argument a key or what? Hello? 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 Are you there? Hello? Yeah, Pune Chandra, yeah, I was on mute, yeah. So we are, you are passing, the, we are passing a, a, a argument, right? So that argument is the key or value? Uh, just, uh, I will pass the value, like Satish. Okay, you are passing the value. Ranjit yeah. value, yeah. Based upon that, we need to filter the data and uh, we need to return the count. If I pass Satish, right, our function should return the 10. If I pass Mahesh, our function should return the 20. If I pass Poonda Chandra, right, then our function should return the no user phone. That is it. Okay. Object task were passed as an argument, you can take separately the object. Hello? Yeah, yeah. So, argument also, I need to pass the argument or we don't need it? You can, you, you can uh, do whatever. You can add the two, one more argument or you can uh, you can create one global variable, right? You can create global variable, yeah. Like that's okay. Anything is okay. Just passing. Okay. What did you want? One. 
yeah for instance uh, like this right our function uh, will pass the one uh, satish mahesh like that text we need to filter the data and we need to return the count not length yeah just count count means if i pass satish right our function should return the 10 10 means the count um, key right the key value we need to pass if i pass mahesh our function should return the 20 if i pass ranjit our function should return the 30 got it, got it, got it. yeah yeah Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, um, you put instead of the for each, right? Is there any other way? Uh, right. Uh, we are using the for each plus if uh, that kind of scenario, right? Instead of that, can you use any other ES six functions? Map we can use. filter you can okay. use but we will get that to uh, if a match uh, the okay you filter you can use but the thing is um, uh, we will get the more than one users with the same name then we need to do other function that is also okay you can do like this also i mean if the more the, for example with the name ranjit we have the same other to other user then the same name uh, other way otherwise you can use the filter in the same in the simple way like like this yeah just just use the filter and map uh, yeah yeah just a minute i will change the function just change. i think that is user i think yeah, yeah. no no here we are not using any count right we are passing the values to filtered items in the tarling we are not using count Yes, sir. Double equal, right? I think um, double equal, double equal in the condition. Change in previous time. Yeah, understand. Yeah, like this. So if you know, is otherwise you can do the kernel dot count here. That's it. I mean, if not here, yeah. This is the one way. Undefined. Maybe you need to pass the zero index. We will get the array, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And what is the regarding uh, HTML CSS part, right? Are you creating your own HTML CSS, or are you depending on any other junior developer or whatever? Depend on the project. Right? Depend on the project. What happens is sometimes we need to get some stretch, some pages. Then I will create yeah. HTML CSS myself. Some projects is already there. You should some built-in template. 
So yeah. any any new features coming then I will do the if not I will do the stream says yeah. Okay. Yeah, Punachandra, from my side, right? I am good, you, uh, good with your sound knowledge in the technology and how exactly you are using the web technology in the coding, right? I am good. Uh, I will try to farm to the next round. Okay. I will discuss with HR and we will share the feedback. Do you have any questions or queries for me? So, if a second, I need to work on the Angular project, right? Yeah, yeah present our control is uh, Angular, but anyway, we are the React and Vue.js. We are using a different kind of. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Sure. Start. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye.